So I was having a conversation with my co-producer the other day and what we got into is do you need to be promoting on TikTok and other socials and is promoting fake or less genuine and is there a way to do it right? All right, how's it going everybody? If you're new here, my name is Takati. I am an artist, producer, and songwriter and I make videos like this of what I've learned along the way to try to hopefully keep you guys from making the mistakes that I did. So to jump right into it, the idea is do we need to be producing content on TikTok or other social media platforms? And just to jump right out and say it, I really think that the answer is an overwhelming yes. yes and I think that's becoming obvious if you look at how you consume content on a daily basis it's probably a lot of video content and it's probably more and more becoming short form video now this seems obvious and so why does there need to be a video about it but every client that I seem to work with struggles with the promotion side of things and so do I I'm actually someone that did photo shoots and music videos and helped other people set up their social medias yet I still struggle to keep mine going and wanting to do it making the music and doing the studio sessions is an easy part for me but actually pulling out my phone and recording some TikToks and trying to think of how I could show the world that I made it was a completely different game so what I don't want you to do is do what I did and spend 10 plus years learning how to produce mix and write the music making over a thousand songs but never really showing the world what you made and if you only want to make music as a hobby that's 100% fine there's nothing wrong with that but if you want to actually have a chance to become financially independent with your music and hopefully be able to go full-time with it one day it is super important to be consistent with your marketing just do it! And for me, I feel like I finally started to kind of understand how it can work. And so I think what most people tend to get wrong from the beginning is that they think that promoting has to be something that they're not. And I think that that's actually the way that most people who even are promoting are doing it wrong. People are wanting to hear your creativity, people wanting to see your side of things. So yes, there are a ton of new trends out there and every video is telling you to hit these trends, but what they aren't really telling you is to make it your own. Because to find your audience, you have to kind of put yourself out there and to show what you do, what you know, who you are. There is a lot of artists and producers, but no one's going to give the world what you give them or what I give them. And those are the pieces that you really want to dive into and show. So if you're making your promotional content genuine to you, then it's no different than the music that you're making. Because either way, it's genuine creativity, but the actual how to do it then kind of gets in the way for most people. I notice a bad habit between myself and a lot of other people is when we don't know how to do something. Instead of just figuring it out, we make a million excuses for why we can't really take the next step forward. I don't have the equipment. I don't have the money. I don't know how to do it. I don't have an editor. I don't have someone to shoot with. I don't have blah, 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 blah. But I urge all of you to look at it completely different and just start doing what you can do. This stuff is still exploding and growing as ever. And I remember even having conversations six, seven years ago with some of my clients about if it's too late to get onto YouTube. Now, obviously that's false. Look at how many channels have exploded in that amount of time. And I think we're gonna see the same type of thing with short form video content. I think it's gonna be a lot more normal to see vertical content. And for me personally, that's where I'm gonna be focusing a lot of my attention. Now, I'll always love YouTube for longer form videos and uploading to YouTube once a week is still hard coded into my schedule. But again, I urge you to look at promotional content based on what you're seeing. What do you identify with? What makes you want to watch a video again? And there's always going to be bumps in the road when you first start to make something. I doubt your first song was as good as your newest song. And so you need to do the same thing with content. Just get out there and try to make it. I'm not going to ramble on too long in this video. This was more just a conversation I was having that I thought would be an interesting point to bring up because now having had this conversation with so many people, everyone has this idea that promoting your content has to be disingenuous or fake. It's false. No way. Not this time. And I used to think that too. I just do not think that anymore. And if you're an artist, I think a great way is to make a bunch of short music videos. Instead of having one music video to your three minute song, have five different one minute videos that you can post on TikTok and you can keep rolling those out in different ways. And what's great is that you don't have to have everything be super professional. Even a few years ago, what was the normal was having a really nice camera, really nice lighting, having everything look professional. But if you've been on TikTok lately, you'll see that that's kind of the opposite of what's going on. And that makes the barrier for entry so much lower for you. Just set up your camera on something and record it. You can record yourself singing your new song in your car. You can make a nicer music video and chop it up together and have it be a minute long and post it there. I think the answer with short form content is putting out as much as possible to show people who you are and let that algorithm help you find your audience so that you don't need to wait two, three, four more years in the future to finally be able to go full time off your music. If there's any videos that you guys want to see me make, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. When you guys reach out to me on social, that's pretty much where I get all my ideas for 
for all my videos. Go ahead and check me out on TikTok as well because that is where I do the majority of my posting. And I know this one was a little bit different than my tutorials on how to make music or mix it or music videos, but this is right in that same alley and I just urge more and more people because there is another big wave of social media happening right now and I think it'd be really worth you jumping in on it, especially if you're a musician. Because since I started doing this over 10 years ago, I've never seen a more direct line to fans. And again, I just urge you to act on it because there is an audience out there waiting for you. There is a way to go full time with your music, but you might just need to change the way that you look at things a little bit and realize that there's an audience for everybody. So there's definitely an audience for you. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I appreciate all of you for taking the time out of your day of watching. If you like this content, give this a like and a subscribe. I will see you next week with another video. Peace out.